Okay, guys, as promised, I'm going to give you two Easter eggs that are hidden inside the EVH Stealth 100. Now, one of them you might know, but the other one, I'm sure a lot of people don't know, and I'm happy to share them with you today. Several months ago, when I bought my Stealth, a couple people who watched the channel reached out to me and told me about these Easter eggs, and I just got a chance to try them out. And those Easter eggs really are some pretty cool tricks that Eddie hid inside the amplifier for us to use. And I'm sure a lot of you will find these very useful. So let's go ahead and start with the one that is hidden in the clean channel right now. So this is what the clean channel sounds like in its normal setting right now. I have a little bit of chorus and delay on it, but I just want to show you how beautiful this channel sounds when you have it set up in the normal setting. <laughs> Beautiful channel. So now let's go ahead and zoom in on the amplifier and I'll show you how I change the knobs around and get this channel to sound completely different and get a really good classic rock tone out of it. Alright, so we're on the green channel here and as you can see the volume is right here and the gain is here. So watch what happens when I kind of reverse positions on these knobs and the amp completely changes character. So before I do that, I'm going to play on the channel once again just to remind you what it sounds like in this setting. And then I'll go ahead and start turning the knobs and you'll see how it completely changes character. <laughs> Okay, so now it sounds like a really good classic rock channel. And so what we're going to do now is engage the overdrive pedal because it's off now. So I'm going to go ahead and engage the overdrive pedal and then it's going to really wake it up even more and make it even more aggressive and give you a really good feel and a lot of great, uh, you know, texture and tone. And uh, it will sound really good for a classic rock or even like a a breakdown channel where you just want to do something mellow it'll sound really good for that too so I'll engage the overdrive pedal now <laughs> Like I said, it sounds really good, especially when you engage the overdrive pedal. It just gives it that really nice extra push and gives you a lot of great sound and texture, and it feels great as well. So if you need a classic rock channel on an amplifier like the EVH Stealth, you can definitely get that. Just turn the knobs like I did on the clean channel, and it'll give you that great classic rock tone that you're looking for. So by doing this, you don't have to do anything to change your blue channel to give you that classic rock tone. Use your green channel for that, especially if you're not using cleans at all in your live performances. So, so you'll have a great classic rock channel in the green channel, and the blue channel can stay as your modern metal high gain channel for crunch rhythms. And then, of course, you can use the red channel for all of your leads. So now let's move on to the Easter egg that's in the red channel. All right, so the next Easter egg is hidden inside the red channel. And I'm going to show you what the red channel sounds like under its normal settings right now, both with and without the overdrive pedal. Let's start with the overdrive pedal off. And pay attention to the screen here. Right here, you'll see where I either turn the pedal on or off. Okay, so if it's visible, that means it's on. If it's not visible, that means it's off. All 
All right, so now let's zoom into the red channel and I'll show you the Easter egg that's inside of there. And there's some really cool stuff going on and you could really dial this channel in and make it uh, sound a lot better actually and make it more workable both with and without an overdrive. And in my opinion, it's way over the top when it comes to the overdrive. And the way I have the amp dialed in right now, uh, I kind of want to have an overdrive with it, but as soon as I click it on, it just gets just out of control. It's just too nasty, especially for a rhythm channel. So when I show you this trick that's associated with the red channel, you're going to see how you can dial in the amplifier with or without the overdrive pedal and make it work much better for you. Okay, so now we're zoomed in on the red channel and I'm just going to play a couple riffs for you with these settings without the overdrive pedal and show you what it sounds like. <laughs> Okay, it sounds really good, but I want it to be more responsive, so I don't have the overdrive engaged, so this is for people who want to use this channel without the overdrive, but get a little more out of it. So watch what I do with the gain knob that's on the blue channel, and listen to how it changes the character of the red channel. <laughs> Okay, so if you notice, when I turn the gain knob on the blue channel all the way down, it added a roundness to the red channel. It rounded it off and made it less aggressive. But when I cranked the gain all the way up on the blue channel, it really made the red channel even more aggressive and more responsive. And again, I don't have the overdrive pedal engaged. I will do that segment after I finish with this one. But it just made it more aggressive and uh, tighter and more responsive. And it almost acts as if uh, you engaged an overdrive pedal, but maybe with the settings a little lower than usual. It's actually a really cool feature on this channel. So now let's do some further dialing in of the red channel without the overdrive pedal and get it to sound optimal. <laughs> hear the difference especially on the chugs and any kind of palm mutes that you do when you turn the gain all the way up on the blue channel it really makes the red channel light up a lot better and tighten up and get more aggressive uh, it's not so round you know it just adds that nice little bite to it and it works really well so if you want to use the red channel on this amplifier without an overdrive but you're looking for just a little bit more Crank the gain all the way up on the blue channel and it makes a really big difference on the red channel in this amplifier. It's just a really kick-ass little secret that Eddie left for us. All right, so let's keep these settings exactly the same and engage the overdrive pedal and see where we're at. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, so now it's just, it's too much. It's just all over the place and it's just really unruly and kind of messy sounding. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the pedal on, but I'm going to start dialing back the gain on the blue channel and round this channel back off so that it actually reacts better to the pedal and it's not so extra, you know, if that makes sense. So pay close attention to the riffs that I'm playing and watch what I'm doing with the gain knob on the blue channel and listen to the red channel clean up and act and sound a lot better. <laughs> All right, that sounds so much better, doesn't it? Uh, there's a lot more clarity, and there's not so much of like this messiness going on with the red channel when I turn the gain knob on the blue channel all the way down. So now let's do a before and after. Let's turn the gain knob all the way up on the blue channel. With the overdrive pedal on, I'll play a riff, and then I'll go ahead and turn the gain knob all the way down, and you'll hear a big difference in the clarity. <laughs> That was a huge freaking difference. I mean, now you have the best of both worlds. If you want to use this channel without an overdrive, I showed you how to dial it in that way. And if you want to use it with an overdrive and it's just too messy when you initially turn it on, back the gain down all the way on the blue channel and it really cleans up the red channel and it makes it just so much better sounding and it actually feels better too. It's not so unruly and it just tames it just enough to keep that aggression in there but to give you that clarity that we're all looking for. Alright so now that we've tamed the red channel by using the gain knob on the blue channel let's go ahead and do some fine tuning on the red channel and just really make it perfect you know so let's keep the pedal on and just do a couple of fine tuning movements on the knobs and see if we can really perfect this sound. <laughs> All right, so when you turn the gain knob all the way down on the blue channel, it really cleans up the red channel the most, 
But if you want that little bit of extra, you know, just a little bit more aggression, then you can go anywhere between all the way down and 12 o'clock and find your sweet spot in there. But I would not go past 12 o'clock because then you start incorporating that mess again and it gets really sloppy sounding. I really think that this trick for this channel would work either way for people, whether you use an overdrive or you don't. Because I've actually seen people do videos about this channel where it's like, well, just get a different tube, put, put a, a lower gain tube in the V1 position in the red channel, which you can do, but I think this is a lot easier. You just turn the knob. It doesn't cost you anything, and you don't have to take the amplifier apart. Just turn the gain knob all the way down on the blue channel and just feather it up from there, depending on what you're looking for, and that's with the overdrive pedal on. Now, if the overdrive pedal's off, crank the gain knob on the blue channel all the way up and then make some minor adjustments on the red channel and that'll breathe a lot of fire for you. So depending on your taste and your playing style, try both of these tricks and see which one works best for you. Well there you have it, two really handy Easter eggs that are inside of this amplifier. This amplifier is a lot more versatile than people think it is. A lot of people think, oh it's all metal and it won't do anything else. No, not true at all. This amp will do a lot of great stuff for you. You just got to find those Easter eggs and learn how to use them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little Easter egg hunt that we went on today. <laughs> and uh, to all my subscribers and Patreon supporters, thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys. And if you haven't subscribed, please do and click the bell so that you can be notified every time I come out with a new episode or go live. Well, I'm working on some more episodes for you guys, and I hope that you enjoy watching them as much as I enjoy making them. I will see you on the next one.